Chief Minister Nong Thoman Biren says arrangements are all set to declare drought in Manipur immediately. Revenue Minister Karam Shyam launches digital payment system of land revenue collection to bring transparency in revenue collections. And as Education Minister Tokchom Radisham inaugurates six new classrooms under Rusha at Tenam Bumpi Bumcha CI College, Christopher. Hello and welcome to Impact News Watching Prime Time English News. I'm Kang Huzam Shalira with the top stories and latest news at this hour. Chief Minister Nong Thoma Biren has asserted that arrangements are all set to declare drought in Manipur immediately. He stated the same at the sidelines of the Combined People's Day and Hills Leaders' Day program held at Chief Minister's bungalow today. Biren stated that paddy fields in both hills and valley regions of the state have dried up and farmers are facing major inconvenience due to scanty rainfall this year. The chief minister disclosed that cabinet ministers, MLAs and relevant officials will meet and discuss on the plight facing people of Manipur, especially the farmers at chief minister's secretariat at 4 p.m. tomorrow. He reminded that the state government had already sent a written request to the centre to declare drought in the state, maintaining that government has started collecting relevant documents required for announcing drought from the disease concern. Biran asserted that declaration of drought in Manipur will follow tomorrow's meeting. Chief Minister Biran also lauded Prime Minister Narendra Modi and Union Minister for Environment, Forest and Climate Change Prakash Zavadkar for granting 309 crore rupees for Manipur to save environment under compensatory afforestation fund. Management and Planning Authority. I have already tweeted appreciating the Honorable Prime Minister Narendra Modi ji and the Honorable Minister Minister of Forest and Environment Sri uh, Zabed, uh, Zabed Karji, thanking them that acknowledging the importance of maintaining the uh, environment, in particularly in Manipur, uh, they have sanctioned. 309 crores to uh, support the uh, air forestation in the state of Manipur. Hayeng, koi ki honorable MLA Singh, aduga honorable Minister Singh, yau apun me meeting me thoro kanda mai magi jaga da karam karam mas okay, but DC Singh ki official reporter di lawyer adu bo elected member Singh ki shuwa tha na na mai na hayeng si koi apun me idhar meeting me kaujari madhu lawyer me thung da state si drought hoye re na koi lockdowni. More also held People's Day at More Police Guest House today. People raised their grievances to district administration, police, Assam Rifles and other relevant officials. More Police also held police and community liaison meeting today. Community leaders of the area and representatives of civil society organization expressed disappointment that relevant department officials failed to attend the monthly People's Day program in More every time. They demanded the government to provide adequate staff at Mori Hospital and Electricity in Mori Town. Revenue Minister Karam Shyam launched digital payment system of land revenue collection today. Speaking to media, Minister Karam Shyam stated that digital payment system aims to bring transparency in revenue collection. Asserting that public is yet to assimilate the digital payment system, he urged government employees to work in a transparent way to enhance public employees' relations. Praja se koi na ngai gumje ba. Praja ki naak ta koi sachche. Adu na duki sense tu mayam puno maksule bivni na revenue collection je hen hen na collect to na na bagi effort ama ta ubudam mayam na cooperation pibio. Na Manipur ki land revenue ki chandari bas system singche. Masi tangai fada na same talk pa man ta ubugi tangai fada bati layrane na khali. Mata mata ungi hoy na phaja na tanaraga ta hold raga di. Sarkar na bolau bovarita some technical lub hold lay bado na marum hoy dina. Ek thing jalo po khosal po yaor raga di akui dipam. CAF and PD Minister Karam Shyam has asserted that Centre gives subsidy under NFSA only for rice grains and SKOL even though there are around 30 PDS items. He mentioned that Manipur, a poor state, is unable to buy the other PDS items without subsidy. Karam Shyam stated that the relevant departments will make all the PDS items available for beneficiaries if Lok Sabha MP can urge the centre to give subsidy and if the Chief Minister can increase the amount in the state budget for the same. 
Speaking to media at his quarter in Sandantong today, Minister Karam Shyam Kamdim the concern blocks about MP for discarding ethics by spreading misleading information against the Minister of the BJP led coalition state government. Asserting that he is well aware of parliamentary proceedings, Minister Karam Shyam mocked that the newly elected MP remarked against him in excitement being new in the office. He also challenged the MP to pledge to use the entire 5 crore rupees sanctioned by the centre under MPLAD Fund for the Welfare of the Public. Arts and Culture Minister Lampolapam Jantikumar has assured that he will call on Arts and Culture Union Minister Pralat Singh Patil in New Delhi and urge him to improve the infrastructure of Manipur University of Culture and to give priority in promoting art and culture of Manipur. He assured the same at the third Foundation Day celebration of Manipur University of Culture at Mu Government Music College in Palace Compound today. Minister Jantikumar expressed happiness that Manipur University of Culture is one among the few universities of culture in India. He asserted that government is ready to recruit adequate teaching and non-teaching staffs and to improve the infrastructure of the university. Urging people to work with sincerity, Minister Jantikumar assured that government will give necessary help. Vice-Chancellor of University of Culture, Bobby Wycombe, IAS Director, a. Steve Das, MCS, and Registrar Dr. Lauren Bam Surzit attended the event. Today, in front of the media people, I will proudly say that I will just let them walk out. In case Palm Day, I don't know if I can tell you, I don't know if I can tell you, I don't know if I can talk to you. It is the right time for all of you. Education Minister Thokson Pradesham inaugurated six new classrooms under Rashtriya Uchatar Siksha Abhiyan Rusa at Janambam Ibomja CI College in Bisnupur today. Speaking on the occasion, Radesham asserted that educational institutions are nothing without students. He appealed to students to attend classes punctually and regularly. Minister Radesham mentioned that Dhanamanzuri University is a cluster university of five colleges, namely DM College of Science, Arts, Commerce, LMS, Law College and GP Women College under centrally sponsored RUSA scheme. He asserted that such measures will ease higher studies. Health and Family Welfare Minister Lampol Ampam Jayantukumar urged those working in the health sector to earnestly strive to bring a healthy society. He was speaking at the distribution event of mobile laboratory bikes at State Family Welfare Training Center R.D. Wink in Lamphelpan today. State Health Society, National Health Mission and the Directorate of Health Services organized the event. Jen Tukumar stressed the need to make available healthcare facilities in every far flung corners and to enhance health sector of the state. Transportation is a long journey. Health 
Moida Wabu Kadiko, in a live Amur. Even Ukul is to hostile, that the Chusam is to hostile, Natragan Tamil is to hostile, that the Senate is to hostile, Arab Padel Bukamuna district to Mukimatan Lakshmi, Namdragasu, Prime Health Center in the Matu Service, Piragadi, Masakuna, Ato Makli, Horamama, Minkapani, and Lakulobi. Secretary of Tobal Multipurpose Project Neglected Area Agriculture Development Organization, Telem Dara, urged the government to form a long term policy for 62 villages of Lamlai constituency which are not covered under Tobal Multipurpose Project for irrigation. Speaking to media at Manipur Press Club today, Secretary Telem Dara stated that the Tobal Multipurpose Project plans to give water in various areas of the Infault East District, like Yeripok, Andro and Tobal, but it has failed to include 12,140 hectares of paddy fields of 62 villages in Plumlai constituency in its plans. He urged the authority concerned to ease their plights. Longmi sing na ngasi ikang lok thukre kusu longmi ye khutta hai riba compensation do pangui hai bagi nungang bolle risha masi tamna do masung masi ki timna go mian da mami mai pangal laga masi longmi ki right si lo pune he lo bu dunu to busa masi handak ki sahi si da ki di to dunu ba longmi mian punjal la si hai bu khola udusu ko ni lauzari <laughs> adno go mian dusu ki amkan hai jari longmi na pangan view lo khui riba longmi ni phogdi mangi ba longmi ni adu lo pune ti hai busa masi go mian dusu adu ka people pune mona dusu khanga ka masi ki Irabot found in Manipur in a press release appeal to government to take welfare measures for drought affected farmers of the state, stating that curry crop could not be yielded due to scanty rainfall this year and there is high chance for failure of rubby crops. The foundation urged the government to give alternate solution to relax farmers' loans and to provide compensation for the drought affected farmers. To the National Group Meet Rabi 2019-20, jointly organized by Central Agriculture University Imphal, Old India Coordinated Research Project on Forest Crops and Utilization and ICAR IGFRI Jansi kick off at Kau Auditorium today. Speaking on the occasion, ADZ FFC ICAR New Delhi, Dr. Dinesh Kumar stated that the meat will the meat will stress on problems associated with cultivation of forest and for the crops. Cow in fault VC. Professor M. Premzit asserted that scientists from Manipur and outside the state will share enlightening interaction during the meet. Various technical sessions and interaction programs were held between scientists and the stakeholders on the first day of the meet. All of us are aware that tremendous scientific efforts made and large investments in funds by ICR, CAUs and SAUs towards the development of improved cultivars and matching crop management technologies in order to increase the productivity and production of fodder crops. In the remote corner of the country, there is a northeastern region, so that our scientists our stakeholders get exposed, they interact with eminent scientists from all over, the, all over the country. Ourselves in the Mauritian region, we should be exposed to the mainland. With that purpose, as vice chancellor of this university, I always accept such type of partnership, congregation of the eminent scientists from all over. Secretary of Napet Pali Mera Paibi Association, El Santi, has lamented that three localities of Napet Pali under Lamlai Municipal Council and Lamlai constituency failed to get benefits meant for areas under the council. Speaking to media on the sidelines of water distribution event at the localities organized by Lamlai Constituency Development Committee today, Santi asserted that people of Napet Pali area are still deprived of tap water till date and water crisis have become a major issue owing to scanty rainfall this year. She also expressed disappointment that the local MLA has failed to consider their concerns. Santi also condemned that the relevant authorities has failed to repair Napet Pali Kalika Bridge till date.
Lamlai ke andar ki local MLA Azina Bari line abe singda thangar pi dona sembi sabi bagi lambi amata puthok pi rakte municipality ki area ama wo ina lai jabani masiju zana thangna bagi toti ki ising phang dona awa aba mayok na dona lai assembly mi pham da bukhat pi rak kadra hai na koi na yam na chau na thaja ba thamuraga ona tai na ba mai kaya si da awa aba nangi ba kudong thi ba kudong magpu loi na subchan biram me hai raga tongan ba lambi da rasniti zaki bze lamlai ke andar si ki praja ama wo ina thamoi chok na pen di sarkar no mai Father of the deceased girl student of Standard Robot Higher Secondary School, Ning Tojam Tom Cho, has condemned that police are on the hunt to arrest members of the GEC form against the incident. He maintained that people formed the GEC to help in naming and cul any culprits involved in his daughter's suspicious death. Speaking to media at his residence in Thang Maiban Maishnam Lekai today, Tom Cho strongly condemned the arrest of one more member of the GEC, Elangbam Tomba, today. He further termed it unreasonable that police keep asking statements from the victim's family. Tom Cho declared that they will give no further statement to the police. Edisinin SB Edis Sharma masa mak yang lagi yang dalam kami, lagi yang di missing yang musuh lekai lagi imai bensin hangbi. Hang macam dah lagi statement lawan ni hari. Madu kari marang di statement no. Aja ham di statement kawau osi sanjoi ni lawan. Edis Sharma ni aja ayu orang yang sikit salah itu bersih statement lawan. Aja ni tu ham ni sokta bunuh ni, ham wah bunuh ni, hari ni kalau terus wah bunuh ni. Kau sesapa kisah ni tu kau ham sokta insan dengan tu lagi jahat cara. Statement lawan aja hari jahat ni mungkin dah hancur hancur hari. Sarah aja sih di statement je pijen ni dia. Hari ni sih lawan di lawan kerja tu buat sarah hari tu aja thamui siapa saja. Ram betul. Kerja mana tu? SIT ki, sah na ayuh ibiri bni na, atau istimewa entar kalau orang ni ayat saja, ngasih mukti pisau orang kehabis mana? Jaga lah semasa si hari tak sih na teh maga, tapi na bersih tu, yang na tap na tap na tolong istimewa sih, ilau kerapan. Aduh matung dengan si yum tu mula ayah bersih, keramba istimewa no mana pami bersih, kau nari bawa yang si itu, CBI itu si na bawa hari nak kias mula ayah. Si na raga di mohi na orang istimewa log tu si kari no, istimewa government na istimewa si pipa pam dera. CBI itu si na raga na CBI na sungsoi cedera orang istimewa log bela kani, mazu ini pisau lagi. Principal of Smart Universal Academy asks public apology over the incident of trashing two class 12 students by Secretary of the Academy as disciplinary actions on August 29. Speaking to media at the school in Sikmaizin Kuno today, Principal Lysram Hamadjandra stated that the school authority suspended the accused secretary on the same day. Impact News sources said women teachers in the school often complain and give resignation letters to the secretary over obscene remarks by some naughty students in this school. The secondary reportedly took the harsh disciplinary actions of beating up the two class 12 students when he personally came across them hurling obscene remarks against a woman teacher. Jadi sekretari na, lekai lagi, masa mana ama oi na, paning bagi wakalon da, wara watiam jawab da, kara nuai taba, mawong da, sepan nai kiba, adu kita mukta sekolah segi, principal ama oi na, han mukta da, suai kilang kiba, kudi mukta mahiroi, ane gi, imong monung ama sung, mahiroi kunai gi, mafam da, ningam da ba, nuai taba, hongdo ceri, matung da, asukum ba, thodo asi, amuk hana, thok tanah bagi mukta, sekolah management committee. Amadi, sekolah segi perincian sama na pada zaman ini. An IED blasted in front of a shop owned by a man called Makal near Vulen traffic point under Ukrol police station in Ukrol district today. Impact news sources said that the IED blasted at around 5:30 a.m. A team of Ukrol police rushed to the spot for investigation and later registered a case. Acting on a tip of a combined team of the Infault West District Commando and 15 Assam Rifles arrested three suspected members including one woman of proscribed KYKL from three different areas today. The arrested persons are 35-year-old Thaudam Kalendro alias Atoy, son of Lat T.H. Jaumu, 38 years old Maitram Amuzao, alias Amutoy, son of M. Surchandra and 44-year-old Maitram Lata, daughter of Lat N. Norint all from Laimakong, Chingmang. The team led by additional SP operation Amazit Lamabamt under the overall supervision of the SP in Fault West, K. Mega Chandra arrested Kalendro from Laimakong, Chingmang around 4.30 a.m. today. Upon investigating him, the team further arrested Amuzao and Lata from Makan village and Awang Posambam Kuno. They were handed over to Sekmai police station for necessary legal actions.
Council of Higher Secondary Education Manipur in a press release informed that online submission of enrollment for class 11 and 12 and registration for class 11 for the academic session 2019-20 has started at Council's official website kosemanipur.nic.in today. Prescribed registration application form is available at the Kosem office or it may be downloaded from the website kosem.nic.in. Now it's time for a small commercial break. After the break, we bring you news on arrangements for final list of Assam NRC to be published tomorrow. Keep watching Impact News. Welcome back. After the break, you're watching Prime Time English News. The Assam government has made all arrangements so that people can check their names in the final list of the National Register of Citizens in a few easy steps. The final list will be published tomorrow. The Office of the State Coordinator for the National Register of Citizens in Assam had recently issued a notice on how to check names in the final list. Those who want to check their status can do so online by typing their application receipt numbers on the NRC website www.nrcassam.nic.in. They need to look for the link under the, subtitle, under the title Supplementary List of Inclusions Exclusion Status, which will be activated from tomorrow. In case applicants have misplaced or lost their application receipt number, which was issued against their online application form, they can call on the toll free number, helpline number 15107 within Assam or 1800 for outside Assam. They need to provide either the name of the head of the family or the registered phone number during the time of submission of the online application form. One day workshop on child sex, recent and gender sensitization was held at the multipurpose hold of the Ideal Girls College in Akampat today. Professor of Regional Institute of Medical Sciences, Imphal, R.K. Narendra, Principal of the Ideal Girls College, Dr. T.H. Biranarni, staffs and students of the college took part in the workshop jointly organized by Grievance and Redressal Cell, Ideal Girls College, Gampat and Manipur State Commission for Women. Speaking on the occasion, Chairperson of Manipur State Commission for Women, Dr. M. Bimota stated that discrimination between men and women is still rampant in Manipur despite the universal claims of equal rights for both men and women. She mentioned that women continue to get lower status at both workplace and home, acknowledging that chances cannot be brought in just few days, Dr. M. B. Mota stressed the need to change family hierarchy system and to form a gender budget and gender policy for women empowerment. Binota also called upon educated women in the society to play active role in bringing the changes. Sigi in between says that Karamba Nupina, Izuke Sanda, He and Mai Pakana, Sangjandana, Nupa Single Lamjan Tana Kadoino, Adubu, Nam Dabanate. Some of the women are able to do that. Nam Magangasi, Society Sida, India, Amadi Manipurda, Nupi Kayama, Tapna Tapna di Akwe Hogatsare Ieba. Numbers of the women here na empowered to gay. Numbers of the women here na society the Machin Tumbamo Ekalaki Hibataragadi. Akwe in due course of our budgeting, in due course of our policy, in due course of our act, we should formulate and we should demand from the government. Not only to the government, we should demand from the society too. Kangabok MLA Okram Surza Kumar inspected Tobal District Hospital and planted three saplings at the surrounding of the hospital today. Speaking to media, MLA Surza Kumar appealed to people to keep the hospital neat and clean. He inspected the lacking infrastructure of the hospital and donated dustbins for the hospital. Wildlife and Biodiversity Conservation Committee, WBCC Manipur and Divisional Forest Office, Tobal, jointly began mass tree plantation campaign today. Volunteers planted various tree saplings around White Oak Lake on the occasion. Members of WBCC Manipur will continue the campaign to combat climate change along with officials of the Water Resources, PHE Department and volunteers of various local organizations.
Association of Common Service Center Bisnupur District held Go Green Mission Manipur come distilled in their promotion program at Kumbi Primary Health Sub Center today. Speaking at the event, MLA Kumbi as Bira urged people, especially women folks, to plant tree to combat climate change. CSC SPV Manipur, W. Dilip Pradant of Duwangu Terakong Gram Panchayat, P. Baleshwar, MI in charge of Kumbi PHC, Dr. Son Kumar, and second OC of Kumbi Police Station, ASI Nawi took part in the event. Various tree saplings were planted in and around the PHC campus. Experts trees on various benefits under this Delta India program to the public in the event. National Institute of Social Defense under the Ministry of Social Justice and Empowerment held one-day awareness program on drug abuse and prevention at the election counting Shingi, hall of the World Complex. Project coordinator of IRCA Chingangai S. Hayes Baiga stressed on basic drug abuse and types of drugs, reason for taking drugs, while associate professor of SIRD Manipur, Dr. T.H. Mitrazit, gave resourceful insights on the role of Panchayati Ras institution in the event. Members of Coalition Against Drugs and Alcohol Kada seized a large quantity of illegal country and Indian meant foreign liquors at Thangmai Bund, Laurung Purent Lekai and near ABC Kodaunt in Infalt West District today. The team seized 10 liters of country liquor and many bottles of Indian meth foreign liquor from two persons during the anti-liquor drive. They destroyed the seized liquors on the spot. CMO Infault East in a press release stated that a mass screening camp health camp on Deng Dengi was held at Sinek School Pangai in Infault East District today. DC Infault East, Dr. Rangita Bali, Waikom IAS, and Chief Medical Officer of the Infault East, Dr. K. H. Indra, attended camp. Altogether, 600 persons, including students and faculty members of the school, were screened in the camp. Notice Biography Forum NEBT felicitated its lifetime member, Dr. K. H. Chinglen, today upon being recently conferred doctorate in social works by International Psychoanalytic University, IPU, Germany. Dr. K. H. Chinglen had received various national and international awards in the field of social works. Social Welfare Director N.G. Utam also attended the event held at the Manipur Press Club. Mastermind Abakas Manipur Unit in a press release stated that students of the unit backed championship titles in five categories out of total 11 in the recent Mastermind Abakas North State level competition held at IIT Guwahati. And now in sports. Manipuri team taking part in the upcoming 46th Sub Junior National Basketball Championship at Katak in Odisha on September 3 left in fault today. General Secretary of Manipur Basketball Association, Guru Aribam Sanatomba, flag of the team from Brahmapur Nahabam Basketball Court. The team consists of 12 boys, 11 girls, team coaches, and Rabdi Kumar and Y. Mahendra Kapoor and four other officials. Before we end, let's take a look at the headlines once again. Chief Minister Nathoman Biran says arrangements are all set to declare drought in Manipur immediately. Revenue Minister Karam Shyam launches digital payment system of land revenue collection to bring transparency in revenue collections.
An Education Minister talks on Brandisham Inner Grid, six new classrooms under Rusha at Changambam Kibomcha CI College, but Eastern Burke.